Hello everyone, welcome to this part 3 of Omuruka Gaku Show 2015 of Mathematics B Video Solutions. And I have discussed about number 2 and number 1 on part 1 and part 2. Maybe you should try to watch that to get a full uh, solutions on 2015 paper. And now for number 3, let's discuss together. Now. Let's see is be the plane curve y equals fx defined by the cubic function fx equal x third minus 4x squared plus ax plus b with a and b real constants. Fill in the blanks and problem one. When c is a tangent to the x-axis at x equals 3, what are a and b? So there's a curve here. The curve is defined a cubic function. So a cubic function is where the function have the chance to touch or to cross the x-axis three times. So it could be uh, lay up this way. So there are three roots there and it touch the x-axis. Now when this curve, this curve is named curve C, it has the tangent to the x-axis at x equals 3. What it means is this curve, for example, the curve is going this way and it happens to be just touching of the x-axis and it touch at x equals 3. So this is x-axis and this is y-axis. So the way to do that is to actually find and try to differentiate this function okay so let's see try to answer it the problem one so fx is equal to x third minus 4x squared plus ax plus b and just differentiate it to differentiate it would be 3x squared minus 8x plus a and remember if you want to find a tangent supposedly that we uh, differentiate it means when means we are trying to find the gradient but we just equal it with zero and then we try to put x equals 3 to this differentiation so when x equals 3 then f uh, 3 is equal to 3 3 squared minus 8 times 3 plus a equals 0 so it is 27 minus 24 plus a equals 0. So a equals minus 3. So now we get the first, uh, what is required is a. Now we want to find b. Now to find b, we actually just put the 3 into this function right here. So it becomes f3 equals 3 cubed minus 4 times 3 squared plus 3a plus b and all it is it is uh, equal to 0 so that is 9 no this is 27 minus 4 times 9 36 plus 3a a is minus 3 and 3 times minus 3 plus b equals a, a equals 0 sorry equals 0 so minus 9 minus 9 plus b equals 0 so b is 18 so now we get the problem 1 a is minus 3 and b is 18 so let's up to problem 2 when 1 holds meaning that when this answer that we have put out uh, minus 3 and uh, 18 is true for this function so when one holds, find all x such that c has points in common with the x-axis. So it, it is obvious that we have to find the other x. What it means as what it means is at what point does the curve crosses or even touches the x-axis again. So in a way that uh, they ask us to find the roots of the function itself. So the way to find it, we have to kind of factorize the function so you're gonna rewrite the function again but this time we are not uh, writing ax plus b but we have uh, the answer 
uh, since a is minus 3 so we write minus 3 x plus 18 now how to actually factorize this so I'm showing you the way it is quite a very uh, painstaking situation if this number is actually goes higher for example 36 the simple reason is I'm trying to find 18 is uh, multiplied by what so 1 times 18 is possible 2 times 9 3 times 6 and then yeah and then minus minus 1 times minus 18 and so on so I did try like this but I did get the answer so eventually I got into 3 so what the point the point is when you calculate when you put these numbers 1 into this equation if you put for example 1 if this is result to 0 then it is one of the factor or one of the roots of the function so let me show you let's say we want to put f uh, of 1 so 1 third minus 4 times 1 squared minus 3 times 1 plus 18 so this is 1 minus 4 minus 3 plus 18 this is equal to 1 minus uh, 7 minus 6 plus 18 12 so 12 is not 0 therefore therefore x minus 1 is not the roots of the function so this is just an example and what I try is just try one by one numbers but of course I didn't try 18 because it's too large so I, I immediately go into 2 and did it the same but 2 also didn't result in 0 for this function eventually I try 3 so f to 3 is 3 squared 3 cubed minus 4 times 3 squared minus 3 times 3 plus 18 so this will be 7 minus 4 times 9 36 minus 9 plus 18 so uh, we almost there for getting the solution so 27 minus 9 is 18 18 plus 18 minus 36 is 0 so because f to 3 is 0 therefore x minus 3 is one of the roots of the function then when we have x minus 3 so we keep our x minus 3 now we are going to divide this function with x minus 3 but we are not going to do it in a direct way uh, what I mean is this method so you just put this function uh, this way And you kind of divide it literally directly because I think that that is the most uh, I mean painstaking way and we already used to that and what I found comfortable way to divide this function is to use what it called just uh, addition uh, method what I mean is first for this function I put the coefficient just lining up so the coefficient is this is 1 and this is minus 4 so I put it in line this is minus 3 and 18 now I put a line here that means this this row here this empty row will fill be by numbers since we get 0 by putting 3 we put 3 here so the way is like this we jot 1 down then 1 times 3 is 3, minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1, then uh, minus 1 times 3 is minus 3, minus 3 plus minus 3 is minus 6, and 3 times minus 6 is minus 18, when we plus it is 0. So all, all of this is plus, and it's multiplied. So what we got this is this number. Since our function has the order 3, now we are going to set this coefficient, this front coefficient would be the order 2. So it is x squared minus x minus 6. Now we can factorize this become x plus 2 x minus 3. Therefore, the roots, I mean the factorization 
of this function is x minus 3, which is this one, and then x plus 2, x minus 3. Now we are going to find the roots, just make it, it is equal to 0. So it is x equals 3, x minus 2, and x equals 3. So there are two trees, well, that means that they touch at the same point in the x-axis. Therefore, we got two x's, which we already answered the question. You see, uh, when one holds, find all x such that c has points in common with the x-axis. That means that the answer is minus 2 or 3. So the points that it in common with the x-axis is minus 2 or 3. Now, for the third problem, see, when one holds, calculate the area S of the limited region bounded by C and the x-axis, meaning that we have to find the area of uh, this region because it is bounded by the curve C, which is this one, and the x-axis, which is this one. So we have to find that region. Well, it's simple. We just use the integration to find uh, the answer. So uh, we're going to do by integration. Since we got the value of x is minus 3 and minus 2, so we're going to redraw the graph here. This is just a rough sketch of the graph, which is not very accurate, but at least we know how to do it. So this is minus 2 and 3. So by integration, it's the integration of 3 and minus 2 and the function x3 x to the third minus 4x squared minus 3x plus 15, I mean plus 18 dx. So we're going to integrate like usual x4 x to the 4th minus 4, 4, 3, x 3rd uh, minus 3 over 2x squared plus 18x. And then uh, we're gonna going to input the value of uh, 3 minus 2 for this integral because 3 and minus 2 here actually represent the, the limits of up and down for the integral. So we actually get the solution down here. Now, as we put, uh, before we put, we're gonna factorize to ease the calculation. So I think it can be, be done this way. So, the dx third minus 16x squared, 18x plus 216 uh, over 12. So, what I do here is to actually take out the x and then I equal the denominator. So, it can be equal 12. This way, 3 and minus 2 can be inserted easily. So by further calculation, let's put 3 first. 3, 3, 3 the cube minus 16, 3 squared minus 18 times 3 plus 2, 1, 6 over 12. And we put minus 2. Minus 2, 3, minus 2, third, minus 16, minus 2 squared minus 18 minus 2 plus 2 16 all of this by by 12 hope you can see it yep then without further ado it's very long calculation but i just drew one more step so 27 i mean 81 minus 16 times 9 one of 44 minus 54 plus 2 16 minus 12 per over 12 minus mm, minus 2 3 times minus 8 minus 24 minus 16 times 4 minus 64 plus 36 plus 216 over 12 and this is equal to 625 over 12 so that is how you do number 3 well uh, number 3 is the question about functions well the way you look at the question, well, if you see some kind of a tangent to some x value at x equals what, then I suggest that we already uh, automatically differentiate it and make it equal to zero, right? 
because tangent means that when you have a, a graph for example this one when it says it tangent for example at x equals 4 then it just you know a uh, touch at this line it occurs at this line and it did not cross uh, this way this is not tangent but this is tangent so just one point there or even two points but at the same location okay this is part three of Momoka Gakusho video solution for Mathematics B 2015 and I hope you understand my explanation from part one to part three and yep stay tuned for another paper of mathematics and maybe other lessons too thank you for watching